In continuation to the applications of reflection, now we will further proceed with some derivations and some applications that we get as a result of reflection. As I know that the Snell's law of refraction was that sin theta i, the ratio of the incidence angle to the transmitted angle is equal to the inverse of their respective refractive indices. And I know that M is equal to C V. So here I can put this thing in this equation and this will be for NT I will put C over VT and for NI because C will be constant and here for NI I will put C over VI and this will be this CC will cancel and this VI will go over here and VI over VT. So I can write that the Snell's law can also be written is sine theta I by sine theta T is equal to NT over NI is equal to VI over VT. So this ratio is proportional to the ratio of the velocities in the two media. Now we will have to write the C equals F lambda equation here and C is the velocity of light and F is the frequency of light and lambda is the wavelength of light. So we write this thing is this is in free space so we write not and not with this. Similarly from this equation I can write that when it will come to V means the velocity then it will become F and lambda like the frequency will change and the wavelength will change. So we will have now to check that whether these two when multiplying they give us a constant when these two multiply they give us this value. So we will have to check whether both the frequency and lambda are changing when they are entering the material or one of them actually changes because we know that C is not equals to V means the free space velocity is different compared to the velocity of light in a medium. So we will have to check whether F naught is equal to F or they are different or lambda naught is equal to lambda. So when light enters into the material, we know that its velocity changes. So whether both its wavelength and frequency are changing our only frequency is changing, wavelength remains the same. Our wavelength changes and frequency remains the same. We will have to check this thing. So the very first thing that I will have to define here that I can write from this equation that m is equal c over v and c over v so for C I can write F naught lambda naught and for this I can write F and lambda. So F this is changing or this one is changing both are changing we will have to check this thing. So let me let me first define that what is frequency? Now frequency I define is this is the number of waves passing through a given point in one second. So number of waves per second while speed 
which is this v here is equal to the distance by time means the distance it covers in a second or in a time so we will have to check this thing now let me draw this is a medium let's say this is a medium and in this medium we are having the entry of light so when light enters here then what will happen to this light now let's say here we are having let's say on this side we are having air and this is let's say water in which the waves are entering now a wave which is here and this wave actually enters here this is light which enters this medium so what will happen to this light and then it will leave this so it will again go out here and what will happen inside here in this material now think number of waves per unit time entering here should be equal to the number of waves per unit time leaving this medium so the entry and the leaving or the exit from the continuity equation we say that it should be the same the number of waves entering into the medium should be equal to the number of waves leaving the medium so it means that per second is involved there so the number of waves entering in a second here should be the same number of waves per second leaving this medium so it means the frequency before and after is constant the number of waves should not be destroyed inside this one so we say that this is a given length and is the entry and the exit are the same so here this is a span and in this span the frequency should also remain constant otherwise if the frequency will change here then there will be a difference in the entrance and the exit and some waves will be destroyed and that is not happening due to the continuity equation so we say that f should be equal to f naught should be equal to f now look here that n is equal here n is greater here n is small speed is the distance over time now distance is the same while time it will take should be the same so speed should remain the same here but whether speed here and here should be the same it's not necessary because from here this n is changing when n is changing here from here and here the ends are different so it means that v will be different and when v is different then here the f are the same so lambda naught and lambda will be different and i can write that lambda naught will not be equal to lambda and that's the reason that when we are having the we are having high refractive index here high refractive index means the velocity will be slowed down more so velocity slowed down more means that the wavelengths the wavelength of light will actually shortened here we say here that v is equal to f lambda 
So f is constant. V has gone down. So lambda will have to go down. Means lambda will have to be shortened. Lambda will have to squeeze. So here we will see that actually when it enters lambda is shortened and we are having now in this distance the squeezed wavelength because we will have to slow down and the frequency will have to remain constant so lambda will have to be shortened similarly when this wave will go out here then here its speed is increased so this wavelength will have to extend so when it enters into the material the wavelength is shortened the speed is decreased the frequency remains constant the number of cycles per unit time remains constant and this is one of the application of refraction that when a wave goes into a medium its frequency remains constant and its wavelength decreases its wavelength is shortened or squeezed